Recently, I flew to Manaus in northern Brazil, which is the biggest city in the Amazon rainforest. After spending some days exploring this unique place, I found a guy who knew some indigenous people who were living a few hours out of Manaus on the Black River. The next day we were on our way meeting this family in order to stay with them. I mean, this is such a great opportunity and of course it's going to be a crazy adventure. Living with indigenous people in their natural habitat, on a floating house on the Black River in the middle of nowhere. It couldn't get any better to really dive into this unique culture and environment. I want to take you along my day-to-day -day life with this family to really give you guys a raw perspective into their routine about what they eat, where they get their electricity from and how life is out there in the Amazon rainforest. Meet Lily, Ronnie, their three kids and this little dog called pipoca, which means, translated, popcorn. Soon we found out we weren't the only guests. This legend, Nikki, who is a missionary from Switzerland, was also staying there for educational work on drug and alcohol abuse. Die noch nichts wissen über Drogen und Alkohol. Aha. Und äh, selber Projekt noch für äh, Import-Export. Import. <lacht> you heard me right. Apparently, alcohol and drug abuse is a real problem for many indigenous people, at least in this region of the Amazon, which we will talk more about a bit later. It was pretty much immediately clear for me that staying with this family is going to be wild and something absolutely different from what I had seen so far. Just after we arrived at our new home, we went out straight to catch our lunch and dinner. Okay, so now we're going to start fishing and you have to make noise that the piranha is coming and this is to be this is going to be our dinner so hopefully we get something <laughs> The thing is with fishing, you have to be super patient. We need to change place now because here is no piranha. But we need them because otherwise we're going to be hungry. So. Hopefully we're going to find some, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's a huge river, so there has to be fish. And also you have to watch out for ants, because they're really everywhere. When you touch a tree or a leaf, you will 100% sure have one to 1,000 ants in your body. So, always watch out for those. There you can see one, and up there another one in the tree. Just stop by to get some acai fruits from up there. I don't know exactly how we are gonna get them, but <laughs> we will figure something out. <laughs>
this rice and eggs and this farofa, the, the grain. Yeah, that's lunch. I mean, I love it. It's solid. And now it just started raining when we came back. Right after lunch we had the chance to chat a little bit with Ronnie and Lily and they told us about how and more importantly when they started their family which believe me guys it hit me by surprise and I wasn't really sure how to handle this information but also I just want to point out that I'm here to learn about this culture and to document it and I'm not here to judge or to have any prejudice about a culture which I definitely don't really understand and which is very new to me. Ah, 10 anos de diferença. Eu tô com 23. 23. Eu sou 23. Eu 22. 22. Você tem 22, 22. anos? 22. Você <risos> já tem três filhos. Grandes. Começou cedo. 13 anos. Primeiro. Ah, primeiro filho com 13? Nossa. Foi aquela. Que foi a... Que tem 9 agora. É bem temprano. Bem cedo, bem cedo, né? Bem cedo. É. A gente se conhecemos no hotel de céu que gente, eu é. trabalhava. No hotel Ele de trabalhou céu. primeiro no hotel e depois eu vim, porque hum. minha mãe estava trabalhando no hotel. After our chat, we headed out to a nearby village to try to buy some fuel for our mission tomorrow. On our way, we found some dogs, which didn't particularly like me. Also, we found a fruit, which contains some red color if you smash it together. So we got our faces painted a little bit. Okay. This is pink. I get pink. Ah, no, it's pink. Ah, see, see, the seva, no? No. <laughs> and then we met those two boys who offered us some fruits which were hanging off of a tree and they were very delicious. How se you open we just came by and those those menus gave us or showed us this fruit. Como, como es el nomi? Es el nomi? Inga. Inga? Inga. Anyways, it's called Inga and it's super tasty. What do you think? It's tasty, huh? I agree. Está bem bom. Bem gostoso. Okay, chicos, I show you guys now how to shower and how to brush your teeth and here at a floating house. So, you just take your toothbrush, put it inside the river and you brush your teeth. That's it. You have to do everything here. The river is the bathroom, it's the shower, the kitchen, everything. And I also drink the water, it's drinkable, totally fine. Clean the toothbrush, and that's it. And now we come to, we go to shower together, guys. Take this. Fill it with water and just go for it. and you have the feeling that you're kind of clean. It's done and you go to sleep because there's nothing more to do than sleeping at night. Good night, guys. We started off our day with a pretty decent breakfast with scrambled eggs, bread, cookies, this polenta cake and coffee. <laughs> As I told you, the answer oh. always with you here and, and here you have some small ones on the bread. You just put some eggs on it and you eat it. Mm -hmm. Extra protein. It's tasty. 
Hey Niki, you know why French people just eat one egg for breakfast? <laughs> Because one egg is enough. <laughs> <laughs> right after breakfast we jumped straight into the water, enjoyed ourselves a little bit before heading out for the next adventure. Chicos, we just arrived here at a house of a friend of Horny and we're going to get a big rifle to go hunting later. I don't know exactly what, maybe crocodile, maybe monkey, or whatever we can catch. And that's the plan for the day, I guess. Let's see what happens. I don't really know. And it's kind of also always spontaneous what's going to happen, even if you have plans. Yay! Hey Carlos, was it for Locatain una cobra key? Pochi ver? Isso aqui eu botei peixe para ela comer, porque ela gosta de peixe, alguns animais, ratos, coisas pequenas. Papai, ela come. tira, come. tira, tá pode. Pois é, isso aí mesmo ela tá. Pode pegar? Pode. Eu não vi a cabeça dela aqui. Tira. Aqui, ó. Calma, 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 calma. E carinho. Quer saltar ela? Sai daí não. É sério? Assim? Esse é filhote de anaconda. Uau! Mas ela não é venenosa, verdade? Não, não. Ela faz como... Isso. Ela só mata a... 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 estrangulando. Estrangulando. Isso, isso. Quebra os ossos, quebra... Aí depois que ela... vai engolir. E o que você vai fazer com a anaconda? Eu vou criar ela. E logo? Dá comida, dá comida para ela, dá água. Mas logo quando está grande, ela? Quando está grande, eu sou oh, ela. Só estou no rio. It was really interesting to learn about this anaconda and also Carlos explained me that he just found the egg pretty close to his house. It was just a single egg lying around there. That's where he decided to take care of this little snake and to foster her until she's big enough to live on her own. But also I noticed something was wrong with Ronnie and at the first moment I didn't really get it but when I took a closer look his eyes were kind of red and he acted a little bit weird and I quickly found out that he was drinking in the morning and the alcohol just started kicking in and things were about to take a quick turn. Apparently we had to change plans and we are bringing our guide now back home because he um, has a problem with cachaça, so it's very strong, it has like 50 to 60 percent of alcohol, mostly um, home produced, like home brewed and people drink and they don't even recognize that they're drunk but he just fell off the boat <laughs> and that was definitely a sign that we should um, change plans so let's see what's going to happen. I'm very surprised about that actually. On our way home we found a spot where apparently you can see sweetwater dolphins or how the natives call them botos. They are not always there but we got lucky and got the chance to hang out with them for a little while. Taking a nap. Oh, what's it okay? Here, agua. 
Tem água. Pois você tem água de verdade também. Bastante. In the meantime, Lily had already prepared a very tasty lunch consisting of chicken stew, rice and beans. That's how we do it. Just eat here on the floor. Absolutely delicious food. At the bango stoso, ne? Best. Right after lunch we were ready to head out again to visit an indigenous community on the other side of the river. We have to actually play the, uh, the port now because we are crossing the river now to see the, the, other, the other tribe, the village, but in the middle of the river and the current is super strong and our boat is not. tranquilo? Serio? Says that it's safe. I totally don't believe her. <laughs> hey Stephanie, how are you? Kind of worried. The Black River is absolutely massive, and when we got more towards the middle of it, the waves and the current got really big and strong. And the seven of us in this small leaking wooden boat with a motor which was also not 100% working were kind of freaking out. Well, at least I was. <laughs> okay, now we are half, more than halfway through. The water is calm now, or more calm. But I don't honestly know. I'm gonna go back on this boat crossing the river. That was horrifying. I don't know. That's like if people are afraid of heights or claustrophobic and they're in an elevator. I feel exactly like that on the open water. When there's maybe you know, a freaking on a condo inside. And also those waters, like the dolphins here. I mean, they're super cute. They don't bite you. But they, they are just too big for my taste. I, I, no. No, no, no. It's going to be... I have to figure something out. Oi, Miki. Tudo bom? Opa, Miki. Prazer, Opa. Gui. Prazer. Uhum. Prazer, Gui. Tudo bem, Pé. Listo, obrigado. Qual é a chave que eu tô pra cima? First impression? It's super nice. Então, esse daqui é a nossa comunidade indígena, tá? Eu sou índio desano, tá? Eu sou cacique também daqui da comunidade. E essa comunidade aqui se chama Cipiá. E Cipiá, na minha língua, ela significa povo alegre. Tá? Povo alegre. Povo alegre. Tá? Aqui nós somos seis etnias diferentes que convivemos aqui, dentro desse espaço cultural indígena. Tá? Guy explained us about his tribe and how they live completely self-sufficient on fish, farming and the jungle. We also got invited to go a little deeper into the village to catch a look around. That's crazy. I have I have never seen something like that. Absolutely amazing. And they have wow, look at this guys. For me, it felt like in a movie. I mean, come on. Parrots, women dressed with skirts made out of leaves, their painted faces. We just had the best time.
But since they don't wanted us around for too long and it was already getting dark, we were about to head back home. I was still very anxious to make the way across the river and for better or worse our crappy motor finally broke and we were stuck. So you need a working motor to cross this river and now it's also night so it's even more dangerous because you can't really see the waves. I'm a bit scared. Good morning, chicos. Okay, we made it back home. It is another day. It is just incredible what happened yesterday. So, in the middle of the night, the father of Ronnie came to pick us up with a big boat and yeah it was safe to cross the river and I don't know actually, actually how they communicated but anyways it worked out so looking forward to this new day and to this new adventure um, oh there's coming someone Bon dia Bon dia that was actually this is Ronnie's dad that was the boat with which he picked us up and it's made out of aluminium and it has a stronger motor uh, yeah, that's way safer to to cross the river. Anyways, let's start to stay. I will take you guys along, and yeah, I'm curious what is gonna happen. Bonjour, Rani. Comment vas-tu ça? Ben? Ah. Now you guys can also see how fast it's gonna rain very heavy, and then it's slowing down, and then it's going very heavy again and also how loud this is because during the night it often rains and I wake up because it's so loud it's like you hear it? Lily explained us that during rainy season the water level of the Black River and the Amazon River rises up to 18 meters. During dry season on the other hand the environment totally changes and their house, in case they don't move it, is on solid ground and they even have enough space for a big football field for the children to play. The shower was quickly over and we started processing the acai we harvested the other day. Hey Lili, how does it work here with the electricity? You have to pay for the light and the consumption of electricity? No, no one pays. Because it's a clandestine. We do a ligation on the film, so we don't pay. It's clandestine, the light. And you don't have to pay anything? No. Wow. This is the final acai. Trabalho todo. All the work Trabalho for this. Tudo. Let's try it. Bem gostoso. Muito bom. It's hard to describe a taste. Anyways, it's just super tasty. It's very good. After our healthy acai breakfast, we decided it was jungle time. Ronnie was well rested and sober again and guided us for a few hours through the rainforest nearby. No matter what you touch, you gotta be careful. See? Yesterday I also put my foot on one of those and it hurts a lot, it hurt it a lot. So you really gotta watch out. Because it's just different, totally different to where I come from. In Germany, basically, 
nothing's gonna kill you at all or don't even hurt you but here <coughs> totally different we tried many different fruits and also one which contains a juicy white worm which tastes a little bit like coconut Gar nicht so schlecht. <lacht> Nussig, oder? Kabul, guck. Es ist der Kokoswurm. Taste the Kokonus? I mean, if you don't see what you eat, <lacht> if you just taste it, it's okay. I mean, it's alright. Your turn. No. It tastes like, it tastes no, like, no, thanks. Like coconut water a little bit. Yeah. Mm, yeah, with like a head of a. Fly, see? You know, like with a. It was a bit crocanchy. Crocanchy? Yeah, like. We also learned about the caoutchouc tree from which tires used to be made from. Around Manaus was a big caoutchouc boom about a hundred years ago, and there are still many ruins to visit from this time. Pra fazer é, telhado de casa, as coisas a gente tem. Ah, para construir a casa? Oh my god! Magica! Magica! Ela tem um óleo, como você pode tocar, ela tem um óleo. Esse óleo serve como uma proteção para ela. That's like a rope. To my surprise, we encountered some big, hairy tarantula spiders, which was absolutely impressive and scary. We also found a site where some people lumbered trees illegally to sell the wood on the black market, which is very sad to see, but unfortunately it happens here every day. We were exhausted and decided to go back home, just to rest a little before heading out again to catch fish for dinner. Okay, there's fish for more to go. Where? No, 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 no. The fishing rod didn't particularly work, so we put out a net to which we returned later in the evening to luckily find it with enough fish for all of us. We also encountered two little croco babies which was fascinating to see, especially because this little boy Xian played with them like I played with Lego and it looked like it was just the most normal thing for him to hang out with crocodiles. The next morning it was about time to say goodbye and leave this magical place. The whole family took us to the nearest village on the mainland from where we were able to get a ride back to Manaus. Brazilian style, a bunch of hugs and kisses and we were on our way. Even though our stay was just a few days, it felt so much longer. Living so close with nature, learning about the jungle, the river, the animals, the good and the bad sides about life on the water and in the rainforest. It was fascinating and I'm so grateful for this adventure. I also hope you enjoyed watching this video because I enjoyed making it. If you did, leave me a comment below and please consider to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.